Courage for business exploits. We're taking a scripture from the book of Joshua chapter 1. Verse 3. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that I have given unto you, as I said unto Moses. God was speaking to the man, Joshua. If you read to five, he said, no man be able to stand you, everything is yours. But he made a statement in verse 6. He said, be strong and of a good courage. In verse 7, he repeated again, only thou be strong and very courageous. Verse 9, he repeated again. I have I not commanded thee. This time God was emphasizing. Be strong and of a good courage. I have given you, but there's one thing I can't give you, courage. God said, you be the one to have it. In life, men of courage are men of exploits. Courage is the quality of mind or spirit that enables a person to face difficulty, danger, pain, or challenges without fear. In another word, it is also called bravery. Yeah, listen, hear me well. Men of courage are rare because most people live in fear, especially the fear of failure in finance and business. I pray that whatever makes you be afraid will come to an end in your life. Some of the most courageous people in history are people who could have ended up at the corridors of mediocrity. They would have ended up on the corridors of mediocrity. Courage can make a failure to become a success. God's kingdom flourishes with overwhelming wealth, unending prosperity, and outstanding success. The good news is that his kingdom is within you. In Luke 17, 21, he said, the kingdom of God is within you. He said, neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is where? You mean you have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit inside of you, and then you fail in business or career? He said, don't look too far. The tell God head is where? Within me, so say to yourself, I'm too loaded to fail. He said, don't look too far. The entire Godhead is where? Inside you. This means you are not an average person. How can you have all this on your inside and not make it in life and business? So I'll make it. Hear me and hear me very well. Those who are afraid of the waves can never swim. Do you hear what I said? If you are afraid of failing, you can never venture into any business. But business has to do with you failing and getting up to move forward. Let me say this why you need to have courage in business. There is what they call Formula One. I'll show you the clips. Formula One, the drivers are not afraid of speed. Just watch the kind of way they drive. Just watch. Are you seeing them? Is this normal? Huh? Have you seen Formula One person afraid of speed before? The speed is part of it. Have you ever seen a hockey player afraid of stick hitting him? Hmm? 
Just watch. I see the truck. That's I see. He's not our friend. But that's the truth. Any footballer afraid to break his leg will never be a star. Any what? See the way they tackle them. This thing. I see. He will see play. He will see what? That will not stop him from playing. A boxer who is afraid to take a punch will never emerge a champion. All boxers all over the world who wants to be champ, <laughs> they punch them and they shoot them. The punch can never stop. Right? Are you hearing what I'm saying? He will see go and fight. See, and I, I talk. Oh, no. This boxing. That is a pilot. If he has afraid of height, he can fly. A child that is afraid of falling will never walk. That child must fall and get You see this thing, they are going to the home. The speed with which they run here, that's what they are falling. That thing is not it's rocket. The speed is unprecedented. It is risky not to take a risk. As risky as a rocket seems, astronauts go on board to the moon. What sometimes we call failure is only an experience. Failure is the opportunity to start more intelligently than the fourth said. All the fantastic ideas you have, minus courage, will amount to nothing. That's why many of us have very beautiful ideas, but the ideas have not done anything because we don't have the courage to step out. We're always afraid in case we fail. Fail, get up again. You can't make a mark if you don't take a risk. Every business venture has its own challenges. Take the risk and invest. Only the brave will succeed in business. I said a child is afraid of falling can never walk. Can never walk? Every child falls before he walks. He or she walks. You can't say you don't want your child to fall. Then it means your child will never walk. He said even the almighty God hear what he said. So God is not against you falling, but it's against you staying on the floor. God never said you will not fall. Don't read, you should go to the Bible. Read Proverbs 24, verse 16. God never said you will not fall. He said you fall, but you get up again. He said the just man, the righteous man, falleth seven times. How many times? And rises up what? So falling is not an issue. Why are you afraid that in case you fail? Fail first and get up. He said, "Is just man falling that many times? Only once. You made mistake. You stop business. Even God said, the righteous man falls how many times? The problem is not in the falling. It is remaining on the floor after the fall. Because every setback is for a comeback. And I pray wherever you've had a setback, you're bouncing back again in the name of Jesus. Why are you scared? Of starting up that business. Who told you you will fail? Because every great journey starts with a step. Take the first step if you fall. When a child wants to walk, the first step, they will fall down, they get up again, they move again. That does not stop them. Yes, you took the first step to do business. Maybe the old money you invested, finish. Get up again, start another business. Don't say because the first one failed, you won't start. No. Get up and start. Again. When we started this church, there was a day we came to service, always only me and my wife and children. Not one adult. Just imagine if I gave up. Well, we came prepared. 
heavily. Prepare what? The service was only my way. When I say praise the Lord, she says amen. <laughs> we printed 20,000 handbills. And not up to five people came. For a major seminar which fasted. I fasted heavily. I don't think anybody came sir. Nobody came. No one person came. I never gave up. Why must you give up? Because you had one small challenge. Is this so now? Hmm? Not, I said not one person, what? 20,000 handbills. Not one soul came. <laughs> Why will you give up? Listen. One person came. I never gave up. Why must you give up? Because you had one small challenge. Is this so now? Hmm? Not, I said not one person, what? 20,000 handbills. Not one soul came. <laughs> Why will you give up? Listen. Reasons why people lack courage. Some reasons. Some what? Why people lack courage. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what? Fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown. Another reason is listening to negative news. Listening to what? Negative news. They hear the economy is down. No business is working. Everything is going down. <clears throat> Another reason why people are associating with the fearful. Associating with what? Never seen a camp of fearful people. Let me say this to you. Courage is not a gift. That's why God told him, be courageous. If it was a gift, he would have given him. He said, Joshua, you do it yourself. God does not give you courage. You must consciously develop it. After you pray, after everything, courage has to be developed. Courage has to be what? Many of us would have done so many big things, but the courage to do it is not there. This day, I pray, wherever you are, be baptized with a new spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I'll tell you how to develop courage. How to do what? Number one way to develop courage is possess a possibility mentality. Possess a what? If you see possibility, the viral is removing I am. That means there is a word you must erase out of impossible to remove the I am. Say all things are what? Clean that impossible from your vocabulary. But this is a mentality that anything is possible. If thou canst believe, some things, Mark 9, 23. If you can't believe any business idea God gives you, any career, is possible. It's right here. He said, I can do some things, Philippians 4, 13. I can do how many things? Why do you say you can't? Every time you say I can't, you remain in the can. I can do all things. How many things? Have that mentality. Paul had it. Impossible. It is a language that is on the lips of mediocres. You remove it from your vocabulary. Anything God says to you, never say, I can't do it. Make the attempt first. God will never back you until you take the first step. Waiting for everything to be all right. It will never be all right. In the midst of the storm, step out. In the midst of economic challenges,
step out. You see God in action. I pray this day as you step out, God will step in and change your story in the name of Jesus. God will never step into your affairs until you step out with courage. Number two, where to develop courage is associate with people of courage. Associate with people of associate with people of what? Courage. Associate with people of courage. <laughs> Through their messages, tapes, books, etc. It is by connectivity, not necessarily proximity. You don't have to be physically close to them. Just carry their books and read. Carry their books and what? My association with David Oedipo, you should know that is one of the greatest secrets of me. Is that true? That's one of my greatest secrets. My association with him. There are people you associate with. Men of courage. You are a businessman. Look at a businessman who rose from nothing to the top. Read the book. How did he rise from nothing to what? Top. What are the challenges? Read. Before you know it, you, you stare at something, you will get up and say, yes, it can be done. You don't have to meet the person. Because the man must have written it somewhere in the book. How did he become a star in that field? From nothing. That can challenge you. The giant you will come out. Right here. And you know what the Bible said in Acts 4.13? Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John. They saw what? Bold. He said they perceived that they were not an ignorant man. That is not the area. He said, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with who? What made them bold was their association with Jesus. These men were not even educated. They were not what? They were illiterate. Peter and John did not go to school. But their association made them, they were talking with audacity and authority. They said, ah, these people, we know them. These fishermen, how are they talking like this? They said their association. You want to do business. Your dream is 40 by 20. Your friend is 4 by 6. To kill you. Listen, your dream is what? 40 by 20. And then the closest person to you, his dream is 4 by 6. You will die. You rather get close to a man whose dream is 40 by 60. So the person will not jack you up. Never associate with somebody lower if you have a big vision. Associate with somebody what? So the person to jack you up. Don't associate with anybody lower than you when they want to go up. Listen, don't mis let, me, let me explain what I mean. Someone lower than you, you can help, but not association. Associate with somebody who is higher. So the person becomes an inspiration to you, to jack you up, but not somebody below you. Come up, young man. Look at us. Stand here. If I want to take this man up, eh, and him, drag game you, which one is easier to... When you associate with somebody down, he'll pull you to his level. Do you understand the difference? So go for somebody what? Fire. Who can now jack you to inspire you? But if you keep standing with people like that, even your reasoning will go down. When they are reasoning with you, they will be reasoning at that level. Before you know it, your mentality will just drop to their level. Now you see, most people who have made it in life and keep around them local people, they fall to that level. Check anybody who ever rose and kept local people around him. They will just fall to the level they are. Even if some, of, some people you know have been at the top, they carry villagers. Become a local champion. Before he knows it, he will just come to the local level. Right here. If you watch businessmen, they associate with their kind of people. Warren Buffett is close to this one. This one is close to this. Within that cycle, they operate. Are you going to answer that? Iron sharpened what? Wood will never sharpen iron. Proverbs 27, verse 17. Let me say this to so you. Break off all ties with those who discourage you. Break what? Break off all ties with those who discourage. Anybody discouraging you, clear from the person. 
Number three. How to increase courage? Increase in knowledge. Increase in what? Increase in knowledge. Proverbs 24 verse 5. A wise man is strong. Yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. The more information you have consigning that business, the more inner strength, which is courage, you build. A good number of business failure can be traceable to ignorance. Can be traceable to what? So increase your knowledge bank. Spend time, energy, and resources to acquire knowledge and skills about that business. There's no gift of knowledge. You acquire knowledge. You want to go into oil and gas? It will be madness not to find out from the top oil and gas in the world. You want to go to marine business? It's not buying boat for ExxonMobil to hire. That's no business. That's no business. That's not what? Any dummy can buy, can buy a boat and for them to hire. That's no business. You have to go beyond that. Most oil and gas people, all they do is to buy a boat and they say they lease my boat. That is an illiterate way of doing business. Acquire knowledge. Acquire what? Be informed in the, about that business. And finally, number four. Are you blessed? Take the first step. A journey of 1,000 miles starts with a step. Take what? All the things I've said now, take a step. Take what? After now, take a step. You know, God said to Abraham, I'll make you great. That shall be this. He said, and Abraham departed. Abraham did not stay to be quoted. God said, I'll be a great nation. God said, I'm going to be very great. God said, you make me the father of nations. Uh, he said, and Abraham did what? So all the things, big, big ideas you have, take the first step. I'm reading Genesis 12. 1 to 4, but verse 4 is the key. Verse 4. And Abraham did what? As the Lord has spoken unto him. Stop analyzing. Too much analysis leads to paralysis. You will not be paralyzed. You know, you see, you see, the way of COVID-19, take the first step. COVID-19, you know, I would have done more. You have analyzed COVID-19. Now, too much analysis leads to what? You have analyzed. Take the first step. Boldly get up and say, no, enough of me sitting down here. Even lepers, in some cases, the Bible said they stood up four lepers. Four what? Went to, it said, if we perish, we perish. They went to the camp of Syria. Did they perish? The only Israel was waiting for things to be better. They said, no, 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 no. If we stay here, we will die. Do like the lepers. Four lepers. Four what? Drop the Syria and say, wait. They said, let's move. If we perish, we perish. That's the step. Lepers, oh, the old people with complete hands were busy analyzing. The Syrians are there. So they said, let's go. If we perish, we can't die with hunger. Yeah. If we stay here, we will die. Okay, COVID-19. If you stay with it, trouble. If you don't stay with it, trouble. Get up and move. We have corona, pandemic, pandemic. Every day I talk about pandemic. You two pandemic it. So here. Yeah. Courage is expressed through prompt action. Courage is expressed through what? Your idea can only be fruitful when you take prompt and positive actions towards it. Take courage and step out. So I'll take courage. And step out. Say it one more time. Say it one minute. All those ideas without courage will amount to nothing. You have a big dream to open a bank? Start. Take the first step. Take the what? First step, find out how did they start a bank. That's the first step. Don't say when I have money first. How did they start what? That's the first step. Then register a company and start from somewhere. Nice.